Well, I'll tell you one thing. The old fabulous ones may have had the misfortune, as we saw, to lose the Southern titles, but they are a great and exciting yeah. team. And I can tell you as an honest fact, by popular request, I want you to take a look at another view of the fabulous ones. One, Steve Kerr and Stan Lane, and coming out, the New York Doll. Without Jimmy Hart, Bobby Eaton serving. I hope we noted that right there. We'll have more conversation about that a little bit later on. Later. Hey, don't worry about it. You take care of your part of it. You got all you can handle right there. You just pay attention to what's happening in the ring. Steve and Stan coming around saying hi to some of the folks that are gathered here. And, uh, See, the spirits are still good and more determined than anything in the world. How you doing, Steve? Hey, man. Hey, and here they come, unveiling those large bodies that have gotten them the attention of the entire wrestling world. We're ready now, just about, for the official introduction for our next match, which is going to be a dandy day for me. It's going to be one fall, 15-minute time limit. Introducing a total of 481 pounds from New York and New Orleans, the New York Dolls, the Dream Machine, and Rick McGraw. Their manager today, Bobby Eaton. And going against them at a total of 443 pounds, from Florida, Steve Kern, Stan Lane, the fabulous one. One fall, 15-minute time limit. Jerry Calhoun, the referee. Okay, out of the ring comes beautiful Bobby, who is serving as manager today, and I don't know whether he is assuming the new mantle uh, of the former president. Oh, I see. The world belts are for heart. Well, he's going to need all the symphony. We'll have more conversation about that a little bit later on. Jimmy, obviously, take note, though, not with him today, and we're ready to go. Steve Kern, dream machine. Open it up out there is Jerry Calhoun. Your referee checking in close and out of the way gets the bird and the dream machine up in the corner missing the spear attempt at Kern. Stan and Steve against quick draw Rick McGraw in the dream machine with beautiful Bobby who I uh, see has got one of Hart's characteristics. He pops out of the chair a lot. Right. Stan kind of rubbing it in on the dream machine just a little bit. This is a one fall 15 minute time limit about main event anywhere. The World Tag Champions, the New York Dolls, rugged team, no question about that. And look at that. <laughs> dream went down for a backdrop, Dave. And Steve cleared him about three feet in the air. Dream looked at the referee, so he had no uh, complaint there, so he went over to the crowd, complained to them. Still didn't do any good. We're a minute 20 seconds into the action. Side headlock being held by the Dream, but only momentarily as Steve goes loose. Nice hip call. Put the Dream down. And of course, the same old first family cry, tights, tights, tights. The referee, not that stupid. He was standing right there looking at it. Nice hip toss. Steve Kern, the dream machine. Dream let loose with his werewolf call there. Now nah, he goes for the eye. Steve trying to shake himself loose. Dream catches him with a right hand, a whip across the ring. Big double-handed chop, and Kern is down. Dream pounding the head into the turnbuckle. 
Misses with a big one that time, and Steve puts him down, but quick draw gets in there, and Steve Kern intercepts him. Now we've got all four, all five, and Bobby Eaton jumped in there. Going to be a disqualification, and uh, I sense, without a question of a doubt, that the first family, without heart, they are really sitting on edge today. Yeah. They came out irritated, and you saw how quick Eaton jumped up in the ring, and the disqualification goes to the fabulous one. Yeah, two minutes, 35 seconds of time on it. Uh, Eaton immediately into that ring, and, uh, well, he got him disqualified. Dolls can raise their own hands all they want to, but uh, they lose the match, 235. As you saw, Dream had him down, at, or rather, Steve had the Dream down, and it was a, a situation where... Uh, McGraw jumped in there to break it off, and Eaton, bam, came right in behind a disqualification. We have something very special coming up. Hope maybe you'll stay tuned to it, and we'll be back in just a moment.